an early sat well not an early Saturday morning walk at 11 o'clock I think it is really nice spring day Tam's not been feeling too well because she's had flu yes I've been in the house stuck in the house for like five days more than five days now and I have black circles on my eyes and I just need Can to we have a look at the black circles yeah <laughs> black circles is normally because of lack of sleep though I know I feel terrible still <clears throat> my throat is still hurting and my nose is stuff and I have a hay fever I mean pollen allergies and that's even worse making everything worse so but I need to get out of the house so today's a lovely day it's nice bit chilly but the Sun is beautiful and it won't be too long before it's roasty toasty so we're walking down the valley thank you very much to all the seems bikers that seem to be following the channel Bradford biker who said that Tam was st stunning not today though look at me today I don't look too good but I will I promise yeah. soon. <laughs> um, I made a conscious decision, I think the day before yesterday, thought about it a lot yesterday, thought about it a lot when I was waking up during the night, um, to give up coffee. And I think you've decided to do the same. Yes, uh, I've decided to give up coffee. The only reason is because of health reasons. And I'm trying to cut all the junk from my, you know, I'm trying to clean up my diet because I'm doing yoga and things and it just, you know, even when you drink lots of coffee or if you have alcohol, it doesn't feel good in here. So I'm going to cut everything that is bad for my diet. The first thing is to go, actually it's coffee, but I have to do it gradually because I used to have four or five cups of coffee per day. Now I'm, I'm on to one and then I'm gonna do this for 10 days. I get headache in the afternoon, so I have a, a like Tylenol or something, but eventually after these 10 days, I'm gonna just have a, like a because you drink uh, instant coffee so I'm gonna have a, like a half a teaspoon for another 10 days and then I'm gonna cut it completely that way I will avoid the major caffeine withdrawal symptoms which are really bad it's like being on heroin really can you imagine then what sort of drug is caffeine it's really bad well I, I tried it last year and had massive headaches tried to go cold turkey which I won't do this year no you have um, to do it gradually. Yeah. Sorry. So um, we are heavy coffee drinkers, so you have to do it gradually. But it's cultural way. here. You know, the if you've ever seen Turkish coffee, Bosnian coffee is the same, just a different name, really. So that will be and something then, how to cope with that. Especially when you find out that uh, coffee is found in a different plant, and the plants have them if the bug attacks the plant, so they breathe, they they inject the coffee into the bug, and bugs die. So. It's really poisonous and I also find out that farmers are using to, you know, protect the crops with coffee. So, I mean, it's definitely not doing anything to my body, so I'm going to give up. Dobar dan. Dobar dan. So, yeah, people walking along as well, I think, somewhere. Well, I can't really get the camera around. I gave it up last year, as I say, and got um, terrible headaches, so I'm going to be very wary of that. The trouble is it's a cultural thing, not only with the Turkish coffee or Bosnian coffee, which has got more caffeine in, in it that could kill a racehorse, but you know when people go out the phrases, they don't go out for a drink, they go out for coffee, and they do. And you know, espressos, double espressos. You have mineral water with a slice of lemon. Yeah, there's, there's juice that. Or something. So that's going to be a cultural sh shock. Don't know how, how we're going to cope, but we'll let you know. But look at the day today. I'm going to quickly switch the camera around. That's the view today. Some fluffy clouds, soon to be no clouds. And dogs. And the dogs are right, running away. Let's get Cooper for you. Let's see, Cooper will come running back. Come on, puppy. Isn't he pretty? He's, a pr he's very pretty. He's lovely. They're both absolutely wonderful and they're great friends with each other. Notice last night they weren't even fighting over food anymore, which is unusual for dogs. Yes. But only two years ago when we did this, you couldn't have let him go, he would have run off forever. And kill the chickens. And kill the chickens and everything. He loves chickens, even today, but with the electrical co collar, everything is controlled. And by having an electrical collar, we don't give him electric shocks, he just hears a sound. And he knows. And then he comes back, so we're not being Only cruel. Only if he's really naughty, naughty then, but it's, not, it's very, it's very rare. rare. No, he's used to it, and he's very good. Good dog now. So that's it from us in the Balkans. Most probably catch you tomorrow now.
Yes. Because the weather's nicer. Oh, and we've got things to show you. Predrag's made the um, outside shower. Well, I'll, we'll tell you all about that tomorrow. And, and he's uh, putting up lots of green netting to stop the bugs getting at the vegetables. And, and please, if you like us in this video, please share, subscribe and like. Like. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.